my channel and welcome to a new vlog. It is Saturday today and I thought I would vlog a little bit today and for the next few days we have a really exciting appointment on Tuesday. We're going to be designing and planning our new kitchen which is so exciting. If you guys haven't seen my most latest videos we are moving and there's currently no kitchen in the apartment because it's a brand new space so we get to decide like every little detail and pick all the finishings and I get to organize like all the spaces and the cupboards and that is just such a dream for me because you guys probably know that I love to cook and be in the kitchen so yeah that is going to be really really exciting so I will take you guys along for that and then on Monday I have a facial and I'm also gonna do my brows which I'm super super excited about because it's been ages so I thought I would take you guys along for that as well and then just a little bit over the next few days and show you what we get up to today so far has been really chilled and relaxed it is Saturday as I mentioned and it is raining like crazy today and it's super dark and gray but it's actually kind of cozy and I don't really mind it since we've had like amazing weather the last few days so it's kind of nice to just be inside and just have like a really chilled day. I do want to make us something really fun for dinner so I'll show that to you guys as well. I want to make some tacos, some fish tacos. I've never made them before so we are going to do it together. I've had a look at some recipes online so I'm going to kind of incorporate a few of those and just put my own twist on it and we'll see what happens. But it's nice to do something different you know once in a while since we kind of tend to eat the same thing over and over like when we find some things that we like. So yeah I'm excited for that and just excited to be vlogging the next few days and take you guys along this is my super cozy and comfy outfit of the day today i'm wearing my two-piece set from mango that i showed in my most recent haul if you guys missed that video i will have it linked below and i will also make sure to link the set if you guys like it as well. Right now I'm gonna sit down at my desk, I'm gonna do some work, and then I will probably see you guys before I make dinner. I'm very excited for our dinner tonight. So I've just shredded my red cabbage. I used my food processor. It has a shredding attachment, so this was really quick. But of course, you can also use a handheld shredder, and this is quite a bit. As you guys probably know, I like to make big portions so that I always have some for the next day. And then over here, we've got some fresh cilantro. I'm gonna chop this up real fine and put it in there. And then also some red onion and some lime juice. I will be saving some of the cilantro for the codfish which I'm going to put into here and then I've also got some green onions that are going to go in there and some garlic and then over here we've got some salt and pepper some cumin some olive oil and that is also going to go into the coleslaw as always I will make sure to have the recipes and the exact amount of everything below in the description box That is really really good super fresh and the onion and the cilantro in there are just perfect
I'm also gonna make a quick dairy-free sour cream for the tacos. So I've got some coconut yogurt here. I'm gonna put in the juice of one lime and about one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. our fish tacos are ready to eat we've got the cod here I've put lots of fresh lime juice on top this is the dairy-free sour cream here we've got some mashed avocado and then the coleslaw we've got some corn tortillas here I am so excited to eat this baby are you excited I'm more than excited Mo's very excited okay let's taste I feel almost like in Los Angeles. You remember this this place where we went? What was it called? Gracias Madre. Mm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. Oh, I love this place. It was so good. Was, oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Really? It's so good. Okay. I have to try mine. Got it, girl. Mm. It's good, right? Oh, the flavors. I love it. Mm. I'm worried my next one. <laughs> That's really good. Really good, right? I would recommend it. Yeah. I will have the recipes below in the Hello guys, it is Monday. I have just come from my brow appointment. It feels so good to have them done and I just feel like a lot more groomed and clean in my face once I get my brows done. So I'm very happy about that. And now I am gonna go for a facial. I'm gonna do a hydrofacial, which you guys probably know are my favorite types of facials, and then see if there's anything else that she recommends that we do. But just a little skin update. My forehead is pretty much completely clear. If you guys can see that. I do still have a few breakouts on my cheeks, but compared to about a month ago, it's gone down, I wanna say like 75 to 80%. And I'm so, so grateful and I'm just so happy that my body is responding better now. And of course, using good skincare as well and getting a good facial once in a while, that is always really great for just like maintaining the external layer of your skin. But I'm now going to head into my facial and I will show you guys what we do. I'm back home from my facial. I look 
all <laughs> greased up but she put lots of like hydrating serums and creams on my face so i feel nice and hydrated we did do some microneedling as well so my skin feels a little bit red but i love microneedling it's another one of my favorites along with the hydrofacial and it's especially good for acne scarring and if you just have like rough texture on your skin microneedling can be really really helpful for that yeah this is what my skin looks like right now it's nice and like chloe and it just feels like really fresh especially with my brows as well good morning guys it is tuesday today and it is really chilly actually so i'm wearing this nice big cozy sweater this is from joa brown so today we have our appointment to design our kitchen which is super exciting we're going to be doing it with ikea so we have an appointment there at two o'clock and it is now 12 30 so i want to make us some lunch quickly before we go and yeah i'll show you guys a little bit of what we have in mind for the kitchen and then when we get there i think we can see like a proper 3d kind of layout of what it's going to look like so i will share that with you guys so first i'm going to make myself a matcha latte i've got my almond milk here and then i also like to put some cinnamon in there some cardamom and of course my matcha avocado toast with some tuna salad on top i made this a few days ago and i will have the recipe down below and then i just sprinkled some red chili flakes on top and then here i've got the leftover sauerkraut from our dinner on saturday and i just put some seeds on top and then my matcha latte okay so here's our kind of rough estimate of what we planned before we had our kitchen professionally measured so these are not the exact measurements but here you can see a bird's eye view so we want to have a kitchen island and then this is the back wall with the sink dishwasher stove oven and fridge and i've just been making some notes here a lot of notes <laughs> and again these are not the exact measurements so we're gonna have to do this again today here we're gonna have cabinets and we might actually extend them and make them a little bit longer since the ceilings are very high and then these are going to be drawers and then of course the oven as well the fridge and freezer i'm so excited <laughs> about this because now our fridge is very low down and it's very tiny and then this is going to be the island and it's going to have some pull out drawers and i've just been making like measurements to make sure that all of my larger appliances and everything is going to fit i'm so excited for this process and i will show you guys the new version once we are back home and we have like the exact plan In these handles for the bottom drawers and then these ones for the top and then we've gone for this for the worktop and the kitchen island this is a real stone so it feels really good and this is called the oxton and then this will be our new fridge and freezer 
Oh, this is so exciting. This is called the Cold Grader. And some of you may know that we literally have the tiniest fridge in the world right now. And it's also like on the bottom. So it's just gonna be so amazing to have a fridge that you open like this and it's at like normal level, you know? There's gonna be so much space. I'm so excited. And then we have a nice big freezer as well. This will be our sink. It's a white ceramic sink. It's called Havsen. Super pretty. And we want a chrome oven, like a chrome finish oven. So we've gone for this, it's called Smuck Sack. It's this one. And this here is the same. Just one of them has like a slightly different function. But I think this one is really pretty. And it's going to be at like, let's say, arm level so it's gonna be within one of the cupboards so we are back home that went really well we've got our new plan over here and i thought i would just kind of show you guys a little bit of what we decided for the kitchen i do have to say that their options are amazing in terms of their finishings and the different like um plates or how do you call it like the worktops that you can choose from and all like the handles and the finishings of the panels and the doors and even like colors and stuff if you want to do that they really do have so many options and we also got to customize of course like the drawer space and make sure that we have space for all of our appliances and stuff like that because we're not going to have so much space on the countertops so i want to show you guys what we decided on so here is a quick overview of what the kitchen will look like so we've got the back wall here and then the kitchen island which is kind of similar to what you guys saw earlier but these are of course the correct dimensions and then here are some other views of that space everything that you see here like this gray part is going to be white this but for some reason their simulation just couldn't show that so this is going to be our kitchen island and here i chose the 20 centimeter kind of like medium drawer size and then all of these are bigger ones for bigger appliances these are also 20 centimeters and then we've got another 20 centimeter in here and if you guys can see there are two 10 centimeters so this is going to be great for cutlery and like thinner smaller things and then we're going to have a stone plate on top of here and also for the other countertop but those are not going to arrive at the same time because they need to be custom measured again so we're first going to get our kitchen with just like a white top and then i think it's going to take like six to eight weeks until we get the stone one and then once the stone plate is in we can put a backsplash which is going to be a white kind of high gloss a simple backsplash that we can of course like wash and clean so here of course is the sink this is going to be the dishwasher this is the stove top we've got one little like counter space here where we can put our coffee machine and like water boiler this is going to be our oven i'm so excited to have an oven that is i never know how to call it but you know arms <laughs> arms length and some more cupboards here this is going to be our fridge and then all of these are cupboards that you open like on the side like that and then these are going to be drawers so we're going to have lots of storage space which i'm super super excited about that is what it looks like on the inside this is the kitchen island again here you can see the drawers better quick update from the future so we've actually decided to change or kind of swap these two so here as i explained we've got the two smaller 10 centimeters and we've actually decided to swap them for this part instead so these two are going to be symmetrical so here we're going to have two 10 centimeter drawers then the 20 centimeter as is and the larger one so these two are now going to be symmetrical the same and then the smaller ones are going to be here instead this was kind of bothering me and then i thought okay let me just call them and make that change and they're coming pretty soon to install i think it's in like two weeks that we made the appointment could be like two and a half weeks so that is so exciting but um we're not moving until november 1st but this gives us plenty of time to also order the stone plate which is going to take like six to eight weeks to get delivered after the kitchen is installed and i just 
oh i can't wait to see it like you know all in its place but yeah i will make sure to take you guys along for that as well once we get to that point i am going to wrap up this video right now thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed and as always you can check the description box down below for recipes links all different types of helpful information will be below in the description box now i'm going to take a much needed shower i'm going to make some dinner get cozy and curl up with mo on the couch and probably watch something on netflix so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed i hope you're all having a beautiful day and i will see you in my next one.